So it's interesting, that question, what makes the volunteers so important for the family? I remember when the CASA program first got it started, there was this sort of give and take about whether the CASA volunteer was for the family, whether they're for the child, and if they're for the child, they can't be for the family. And what we know is that you cannot really address what's going on with a young person, a child, unless you're willing to spend time with the family. Children grow, we believe, research supports, they do best when they're raised in their biological family. And so that's why I really worked really hard as a judge to try to make sure that we were absolutely only separating children who needed to be separated for safety. Uh, from their families. And so for other things, other problems, we need to figure out how to address that. So because I believe, and the law supports, that the family is important, we try to support that. And CASA's help, uh, although they are appointed to be the advocate for a child, they obviously interact with the parents and get to see, know the parents, can advocate for what the child needs, but also can say what a parent might need as well in order to be able to reunify if they've been separated.